I spent exactly this much on building my website. In rupees of course, not dollars. That would just be absurd. Yo, what's up guys? It's Suraj from Tech Devoted and I now have a website of my own, surajbodu.com. It's now live. Go check it out. Check it out on your phone, tablet, computer, Xbox, whatever it is. Check it out and tell me what you think. Now, I did build this website with Wix, hashtag not sponsored, although Wix, if you are watching this, I would love to do something together, so please email me. But anyway, this video is more of just a general uh, video, just announcing the website, plus a little bit about the experience. It's not really a step-by-step -step guide video, there's plenty of those out already. I spent exactly 942 rupees on this site, that includes one year of Wix Premium, a domain, and a security certificate that I was basically forced to buy. Uh, because without that, all your public, all your private information, including your name, not your name, but your address and phone number will be public, which you don't really want. The Wix subscription, the Wix premium was 29 rupees a month. So that's 348 rupees a year. I spent about 200 for the domain. The domain, you do get one for free with one year of Wix premium. But for me, it was surajbodu.in. That was free. I think the .com was paid. So I paid another 200 and got that. And then I spent about 394 rupees on the security certificate. So in total, that was 348 plus 200 plus 394, 942 rupees. Quick maths. But let's say you settle for the free domain and you don't get the security certificate. You can practically build a site for 348 rupees, which is bonkers. Or even if you do get the security certificate and pay extra for the domain like I did, you're paying on 942 rupees, which if you told me like two or three years ago that I could build a good looking site uh, with zero line of code for under a thousand rupees, I'd be laughing at you. There are so many templates on Wix. I don't want to sound like one of those ads, but it's true. I literally started over like six to seven times simply because I could not settle on a template. In the end, this is the one I decided to go with in case you're wondering. Now Wix has a lot of options customization wise. Um, my website in particular is very stripped down. It's very minimal. I'm just using it to display my work, photo and video work. So it's extremely stripped down and to the point. But if you want, you can go all out and add like crazy parallax effects and all that. I haven't really gone very deep with it, but there is a lot of freedom. The actual designing part is also very easy. As I said, it involves no code, which works very well for me. I don't know the first thing about programming. So it's just drag and drop, which works uh, really, really well. Now, while it is easy, it's not necessarily quick. Uh, it can be a time consuming process and sometimes it can be very frustrating. Uh, luckily, I also had help from a friend, Rukmini. Um, she's really good with web design. Uh, she's also good with writing. So if you need any web designer writing services, she's the one to hire. I'll leave links below. If you don't have a Rukmini in your life, you can also use the Wix Editor Help Center, which is actually quite good. You just basically search up the term uh, that you need help with and it gives you all these results. Uh, it's super actually quite satisfactory i mean i used it a couple of times and i was always able to find what i was looking for i didn't feel the need to speak to an actual human at any point of time so i don't really know how that part of the customer support is after you build your site you can also offer a custom mailbox wix offers it through google suite which costs about 360 rupees a month uh, for those of you that don't know a custom mailbox is basically a custom email address so it is you know hello at yourwebsite.com or admin at yourwebsite.com. I, I got hello at surajbodu.com. It's it's not through Google Suite though. I got it through a free alternative called Zoho Mail. I actually did not know about the service. So shout out to my friend and fellow YouTuber Abhi for telling me about it. Um, it's free. There are some limitations, but otherwise for the most part it works. And yeah, owning a website in general and having a custom mailbox is a super cool, super professional feeling. It was one of my goals this year and I'm happy that I can finally uh, check it off. Yes, there's Instagram and yes, there's YouTube and yes, there's Vimeo uh, to display your work. But in my opinion, a website is a website is a website. Uh, it's just extremely nice and professional to have a dedicated place where you can display all your work without any distractions. I think clients will really appreciate it and find it extremely professional. Not to mention I own this place. It's a little portion of the internet that I completely own. It is my space, not like the social network, my space, who even talks about that anymore. But I can do anything I want. I mean, if I wanted to, I can wake up tomorrow and start posting memes instead of the photos and videos that I'm currently posting. If I wanted to, not going to happen though. Maybe it's not that bad of an idea. Actually, I, I might consider it. If you want to get a website with Wix, which I highly recommend you do, I think it's a great service. So if you want to sign up with them and get a website, 
Number one, uh, you can sign up for the free version and build your website completely and then go for the premium version. That way you're saving money and time. Uh, and number two, if you are going to get this premium, please use my link in the description. It gives me a kickback at no extra cost to you. It's an affiliate link. It helps the channel out. So if you're going to get this premium, I would highly appreciate it if you use the link below. Oh, my light just went off. Uh, I'm going to use this backup aperture ALMX. Uh, please bear with me. It probably looks a little spooky, but I'm almost done here. I was saying the only con I've probably experienced so far is that the loading times with certain internet connections are super slow. It could be that my particular file sizes or media sizes are super big so i'm going to be experimenting with making them smaller and you know testing it that way but otherwise it's been a great experience and and my arm hurts so that's that's about it for this video if you enjoyed watching this video give it a like if you did not vote it down vote vote it down let me know in the comments why i didn't like it if you're new around here consider subscribing for more videos just like this one it's been suraj thanks so much for watching take it easy and stay devoted